Here's Brody Brazil. There's no question I love sports. I also love production and I love aviation. In fact, I have three YouTube channels, one for each of those subjects. But those are all largely things that have consumed my professional life. Used to be a flight instructor, currently a broadcaster. And so as much as I do love my work and I enjoy those things, I rarely get to talk about some of the other things I enjoy and things that make me who I am. And I just wanted to sidestep from all the serious conversations here on social media lately, sports and otherwise, and I just wanted to kind of share some things I like. Maybe you can guess with the uh, the clip art here. Yeah, I went fancy with the clip art. What they are, uh, and maybe you're just like me in some of these regards. And there are some other things here which I didn't include. Obviously, again, aviation and, and production are really not on there. Sports, well, bowling, nowhere to be seen necessarily, but... We'll get into these one by one and things that I, as a person, if I had to make a list, these would be the things I put down that I like. Camping. I recently took my son with my wife for the first time and he went camping and he loved it. Camping is something that is great because it's just nice to get away. To get away from busyness. To get away from technology, honestly, sometimes. To get away and change scenery to something that looks so different than most of us are accustomed to. Cars, freeway noise, airplanes, helicopters, lawnmowers, leaf blowers. It's quiet out there. It's like, it's like that quiet. It's great to get away, and you don't realize how much you needed to get away until you actually do. I also love camping because it makes you not pack everything. It makes you practice minimalism. You don't want to bring everything that you own. You want to try and get by and live life on the bare essentials. And that is so fun because, again, most of us have everything we need and more all the time at our disposal. In fact, most of us probably have too much at our disposal. I love just getting really simple with things. And camping, as much as it's isolated and you're getting away from most people and likely your job and other things that are, that are stressors, it can still be social. Go camping with your family and friends. I don't think anybody's camping by themselves. Some do. Credit to, credit to those who do. Uh, but for me, that's not it. I like to go out and camp with others. It is a really social experience. It's also fun because camping comes along with a lot of gadgetry. You know what I mean? The flashlights, the pocket knives, the heating devices, the tent that's got, you know, some new bells and whistles. I, I love all of the camping gadgetry and tools and devices and things that are, are built to last. that are meant to weather the elements so I do like the, the gadgetry that comes along with camping. It's very fun. Now that my son's getting older enough to do it, I can't wait to do more of it, kind of revisit times of yesteryear. But camping to me uh, is timeless, and I, I can't wait to do more of it. Biking. You get, your, you get some really good exercise riding a bike because you kind of forget how long you're going. And how much energy you're exerting. And maybe sometimes just that slight little incline. Burns a lot more calories and a lot more beads of sweat than you would have expected. You can cover large distances on a bike. I love getting on the trail and thinking, wow, I can be a couple miles away in just a couple minutes. I love the fact that biking is pretty low impact. I'm somebody that did a lot of running in my late 20s and early 30s. And Maybe here in my 40s, I'm paying the price for it. Ankles, knees, hips, uh, soreness. But biking is something that I feel like is a wide age range. You can do this for quite some time. And it's just, it's good exercise, but it just doesn't stress the body in certain ways. Um, I prefer, right? Like everybody's got their different biking preferences. I don't like busy streets because of the obvious and cars and potential danger and some of the the uh, situations you can be put in. And I'm also really not big on the mountain biking side. I know, I just, I, I trust myself, but I fear for the worst. And I've seen the results of, of some incidents. I like flat, long trails. 
a little bit of an incline, a little bit of a decline, and preferably paved. Yeah, I, I love all that stuff. By the way, I do know how to change a tire. I've replaced a chain. I've done some bike work. It's also kind of fun, too, to take care of your bike and to have a good bike, to have some pride in your actual bike. But uh, that's, that's kind of my situation with biking. Photography. And I guess this does fall in the production category just a little bit. It's not video. It's not audio. It's just still images. But I look at photography as kind of an artistic expression. I'm really not great with a pencil or a paintbrush. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I'm okay, but certainly not like the best of them. And for, for me, like I can frame up a pretty good picture, even with an iPhone, but preferably with, you know, a proper mirrorless or old school DSLR camera. And so it's, it's a way for me to express myself in capturing a moment or a vision or an image or also to capture life moments. And I think most people realize that as they become a parent that uh, you're not going to have these moments all the time or for the rest of your life. So capture them now. I think it's a valuable skill. I've never really made it a business thing, uh, photography, but I would imagine that someday uh, taking people's portraits, which I, I enjoy doing, a family portrait, an individual portrait, uh, uh, taking pictures of a facility or a building or something somebody has created. I like to make things that seem ordinary look interesting. And I also have a lot of fun with the editing process. I do realize that some people, they don't want to touch up their photos, and I'm kind of that way too. I want to take the best possible photo from the start and then try and edit it to be perfect. But I know some people out there, they don't want to touch the, the, the Photoshop or the Adobe Lightroom. That's not what they're here for. They just want to try and take the picture. In fact, some people still do it on film because of that challenge. I get a kick out of trying to take the absolute best picture and then trying to make it perfect with post-production. Let's go bowling. Bowling for me is a childhood memory. My parents uh, were in leagues and bowled a lot. Then I got into it at an early age. Um, did it a little bit in high school as a PE class, if you can believe it. Castro Valley High School. You walk right down the road a couple blocks away and you go to Castro Village Bowl. And there you are. So it was a fond childhood memory. It's something that's easy enough to get into. But it's kind of like golf. It's so difficult if you want to actually be good at it. And you want to be consistently good at bowling. And that's kind of where I'm at. I don't do it enough to be 100% consistent. Um, I mean, I, could, I can predict usually how well I'm going to bowl and how my score is going to be. But I'm not at the easy part because I'm already into it. But I'm at the difficult part because to get better, I need to put even more time into it and more attention towards it. Bowling is great because it's good for all ages. Your kids can bowl. Your parents can bowl. Your grandparents can bowl. It's also a good indoor option for the hottest days of summer and the coldest days of winter. Uh, there, I don't know. There's just some weird comfort of a bowling alley. Like the sensory, uh, uh, the perception you get there, the smells, the sounds, the lighting. I, it just it feels like a comfort place. I don't know why. Maybe because that, those smells and sights and sounds just haven't changed in so many decades. I think we're at the last one here of five, and it's woodworking. I love wood woodworking, and I didn't really get into it um, until about, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. Got a house with a garage, and you know what that means. Saws, tools, sanders, routers, you name it. And I think woodworking is a lot for me of tinkering. And tinkering is calming, right? I got to fit this piece in there. How do I do it? In fact, you know what? Uh, here's a crazy one for you. This, this actual rack mount unit right here with the, uh, the audio devices, yeah, I made that out of wood. Like I, I custom built this to the proper size. That was a project. And I think it's great because you can build stuff with woodworking. You can also have the ability to fix things a lot of times. Not to throw anybody under the bus, but somebody at our house decided to flip over a chair. <clears throat> and the top of it broke off. <clears throat> and it was a difficult fix. But I had the right tools. I had the, the right way in mind of how to fix this. Quite honestly, I built that chair back. You can't even tell where it broke, how it broke. And it's better, better um, suited now than it ever was. Stronger now than it ever was. So I love the fact that 
If something breaks and it's wood, you have the ability to fix it. Woodworking is relatively easy to understand. I mean, I think you can get good at it and know all the, the tricks that the beginner doesn't. And some people know the woods better than other and the grains better than others. But just to get started, like it's wood. <laughs> There's not a lot to it, right? It's an easy in to woodworking. But I would also say it's always a challenge because you want to get things right. For me, I'm trying to get them perfect. I'm trying to make something for somebody or make something for the house. And I take pride in it. And if you take pride in it, it's always going to be a challenge. So woodworking for me in the last uh, six, seven, eight years, it's been a lot of fun. So there you go. There are just some other things that I like. Maybe I've talked about these before. Maybe I haven't, but I just wanted to, to have some time here and, and do a different video. Believe it or not, uh, this one was for me <laughs> to just cleanse the palate with some other things that I enjoy in life. Uh, you made it here to the end of this video, this very different video. Thumbs up down below. Really appreciate that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can definitely see you back here next time. <laughs>